Here we go with bout two of the main card here at Eternal MMA 53. Three by five minute rounds in the featherweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. He is trained by Stephen Kennedy from Kick-Ass MMA. He stands at 173 centimeters and weighs in at 65.8 kilograms. Hailing from Pretoria, South Africa, but fighting out of Perth, Western Australia. Ladies and gentlemen, this is David Creel. And his opponent fighting out of the red corner. He is trained by Jack Becker from the Costa Academy with an official weight of 173 centimeters and a weight of 65.8 kilograms, hailing from Bella Horizonte in Brazil, but residing in Perth, Western Australia. Ladies and gentlemen, this is Rodrigo Costa. And our referee is Terence Cook. And this fight proudly brought to you by Victory Recovery Systems. Recovery is the ultimate preparation. Head to victoryrecovery.com.au for more information on these magnificent products. So, again, Brett Benetti here at Cage Side with Mitch Tinley. Again, this is a fight I've really been looking forward to. And I want to see, especially when you talked about Costa, uh, his uh, obviously grappling techniques. Oh, yeah, keys victory. This is as old school as, as you get. Both boys can grapple and stand, but David Creel is going to want to stand, uh, f keep it standing, throw some strikes. Already he's off with the leg kicks. Rod Costa's probably going to want to get this to the ground and end it quite quickly. Don't want to take too many of uh, those leg kicks, especially early. Rod Costa staying nice and calm in there. Not checking the leg kicks, though. David Creel has some hard, hard kicks. Uh, he put an absolute beating on Asana Maddy about 2016, so the last time uh, David Creel fought, fought was uh, in the Eternal MMA banner, and uh, he did great at grappling, getting back to his feet and doing what he wants to do standing, which uh, is what he's looking to do now. Rod Costa being very, very tentative here. David Creel looking to get him to open up a bit. He's going to leg kick in the, uh, in the, the body punches as well. Nice start there by Creel, and uh, obviously Costa looking for his opening. He can't find it yet. Right, Costa's doing well, uh, keeping it, keeping space and, and, and knowing when to get in and when to get out. David Curl is just, like I said earlier, he's, he's probably wanting to push the pace early. Nice one two by Costa and to get out. That leg kick though, he's got to start checking it or at least getting away from it because Curl has some heavy, heavy kicks and that might slow Costa down when it comes to shooting the double and trying to get Dave to the ground. And uh, Curl will know exactly that. that's what Costa will want to do. He will know his background. Yeah, for sure. And they would have worked uh, extensively. Beautiful body punch. Oh, you don't want to grapple, get away from that exchange. This is what Costa wants. Costa's got an incredible yeah, trip. That. Costa, that's a world-class takedown. And now he's in Costa's world. He was waiting for his opportunity, and that's what he got. And still got three minutes remaining, and they're, they're still both pretty dry. They're not, uh, they haven't built up too much of a sweat. So it is Costa's world, like we said. And he's going to turn this into very much like a jiu-jitsu match. Steps over the legs. He's looking to try and hook those up. Yeah, beautiful. Pinch those legs. Keep David uh, so he can't use his legs to post up and get up. Now that he uses a hand, Costa gets the opposite arm, grabs the wrist, and now he's got total control. And now this is exactly the world that Costa wants to be in. He's just going to slowly crawl up the body, perhaps end up in mount, and uh, work for a choke. Complete control of Krill right now. Steve Kennedy, his yeah. head coach, telling him to get up. Costa's slipping in the body triangle as Krill moves over. And he's flattening out a bit. Costa, like I said, both hooks in, raining down some punches, and it's going to open it up. So a world of hurt for Krill now as, uh, as Costa's got the back and they're sunk in the rear. Take and the it's all and there's the over. Wow, what a performance. Rod Costa, welcome back to mixed martial arts, not just world-class at jiu-jitsu as his team is ecstatic. Ladies and gentlemen, this was bout two of the main card here at Eternal MMA 53. This bout ended with two minutes 13 remaining in the first round. Ladies and gentlemen, your winner by submission, the red corner, Rodrigo Costa.
Ladies and gentlemen, I'm here with your winner, Rodrigo Costa. Mate, five years out of the cage, you're finally back after dominating the world in jiu-jitsu. How does it feel to be back in mixed martial arts? Feels nervous, but, but good. <laughs> yeah, it feels really good, man. It's something I like to do, you know. It's, um, it's, I was talking to the boys, it's a weird feeling before. You really don't want to be there. But then after win or lose, you miss that feeling, you know? So it's good to be back. Now, you spoke in your corner. You have a pretty impressive list of guys in your corner. And that's basically the only guys you used in your training camp. It was obviously enough. Is there anything you can say about the training camp? Look, man, um, it, was, it, was, um, it was very special for me because I, I have my best friends coaching me, Jack. All of those guys are some of my best friends. All of my students are here, my friends. Um, thanks to all the guys that helped me as well. Uh, Dino is, is in here somewhere. Helped me a lot as well, and um, yeah, it feels super special to have these guys with me. Now, mate, are we going to have to wait another five years to see you back in the cage? Um, no, nah, I'm keen to fight whenever. I'm good. <laughs> now, mate, now, mate, after winning 120 medals over 200 matches in jiu-jitsu, you're now finally back in MMA. What are the goals for Rodrigo Costa? Um, I'm going to walk for the mayor of Perth, uh, Gucci Smoothie over there. <laughs> That's it. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, your winner, Rod Costa.